Hey guys, this is my tutorial on how to learn to fly a hexacopter. And first, you want to buy one, and this is pretty much the best option I've seen. This is the Esheen X6, and it also comes with a camera on the bottom. I've just taken it off, so that's nice. This was $60, and it's durable, cheap, and the rates are pretty low, so it's easy to learn on. So, first, you want to buy one of these. Okay, next you want to understand how they work. So on the left, on your left stick here, you have your throttle. Up and down will cause it to lift off, and you have left and right movement, which will cause it to spin. As you can see there. And on your right stick, you have forward and backward, left and right movement. And when you have the quadcopter pointing away from you, the blue lights are the front on this one, and the white four are the back. You go if you give it throttle and you go forward, it will increase the spinning of the black the back blade and will cause it to move forward. And the same for reverse, left and right. And that's how it moves. And I recommend you have a quad first because that'll make flying this a lot easier for orientation. Next you wanna go to fun um find a flying space where there's no people, animal, like, in if animals, and if you're inside, make sure there's nothing around that you can really damage, or if there is, make sure you move it or go somewhere else. And if you're outside, make sure there's little to no wind, very little wind, because when you're starting to learn, that'll affect you if there's wind. And just make sure there's nothing around that you can hurt if you crash. And if it's going away from you, just, and you can't control it or you lose orientation, just drop the throttle. It'd be better to break this and have... Um, have to repair it than to lose it or hurt somebody. Okay, next what you're going to want to do is take your hexacopter to your flying space, put it down with the front facing away from you, and bring the throttle up just enough so that it hovers. And don't yaw, keep the front away from you, and use your right stick to try and keep it in a hover as best you can. That's why I recommend this Ishin X6 because it's just so stable. See, I'm not really doing anything there. It's all by itself. Then what you want to do is start to move it forward and backwards, just using really slow and really small stick movements. Keep it in low rates. Don't yaw, just move forward and backwards slowly. And then go, start to go left and right, and just get a feel for how it flies. And then start to go diagonally. And again, just using small stick movements and keeping it real nice and steady. And once you feel like you've mastered this step, you can move on to the next. So try and land it. Then once you've done that, move on to the next step. The next step, you want to take it to your flying space again. Set it on the ground with the front away from you. Bring it back up to a hover. And start to move it around a little bit without yaw. Don't use yaw yet. Just forward and backward, left and right. Now once you're used to that again, you can start to add some yaw to it. Right now you just want to spin in place. You can see there, I'm only giving yaw input. It's pretty much staying right where it is. And just start to go forward, and as you go forward, add a little bit of yaw into it. And you'll start to do circuits. And once you co feel comfortable doing circuits, try and um, perform a figure eight. You just fly around real slow using small stick movements. And once you're comfortable with that, you can start to do mostly what you want and start to experiment and 
just have fun with it. That's the main thing. Just make sure you keep practicing and stay away from people in the beginning so you don't hit, if you crash, you don't hit anybody. Okay, let's bring it in. Okay, that's my tutorial on how to fly a helicopter. Um, let me know if you like this video by hitting like or dislike. And as always, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. See ya.